Some say he has a digital face and that if he felt like it, he could fire Alan Sugar. <laughs> All we know is he's called the Stig. And he's off! Whoa, lots of wheel spin off the line there. That's not a particularly fast start as a result. OK, coming down to the uh, first corner, piling it in. Quite a bit of tyre squeal, bone dry track, but actually, look, very little drama. Un pezzo di quel formaggio. A piece of that cheese. Stig, of course, still learning Italian. Here he comes out of Chicago, a little, ooh, little wiggle of the hips on the way out. No real fuss, no drama again into Hammerhead. Perhaps things will get lively here. Will it wash wide? No. Nope. Tail's coming out a fraction, but the Stig holds it there to the millimetre. Vogliamo visitare Pompeii. We want to visit Pompeii. Mr. Stig can already talk the language of animals. Only this morning he was chatting to Top Gear Dog, and funnily enough, they also share a water bowl. Oh, look at that! Seven litres of American friendly fire. Here he comes into the second to last corner, turns in hard. Little bit of correction into Gambon. This is the tricky one, flicking it a bit sideways and across the line. Well, hey. I very much doubt. Hang on. I doubt very much any of you will believe this. He did it in 122.4. Now that, look, that is, here's the Ferrari 575 right down there, 126.8. It's, it's quicker than a Zonda. It's quicker than a Ferrari 430. That is an astonishing car. However, I do maintain if you are planning on using it on a road, you are better off with a normal one.